Hello, Aditya Nathan. Thank you for uh, asking this very interesting question and uh, sending me the files. My name is Alim Vargato from uh, Javelin Technologies. Um, the problem that we have here is, is pure geometry. So as this turns, it might intersect itself. So think about all the sections that you have. So let's uh, try it first. You already tried it yourself, right? So you're selecting this segment, uh, sorry, this profile and that profile. The reason I uh, oriented this in uh, the front uh, view is because I can drag these connectors down and this one to the right to get the result. So you can see right now it's trying to do the job, but you want a center line loft. And when that happens, I guess the, the thing that gives you a little bit of grief is the fact that the preview is teasing you, looks like it will work. By the way, I don't think you want this geometry, even if it works. you. You probably want this face to stay tangent to this face, right? So if you try to apply tangency to the star constraint, it will it will fail. But even if you if you let it with no constraints, it will still give you the error that you mentioned. So let's see how we can uh, how we can fix the problem. So a couple of things I would probably do, just for experimentation, I will change this sketch. So uh, let's see if I can turn on Insta 3D for that to, to make it a little bit easier. Um, I'm going to move this angle to, let's say, 60 degrees for starters. And I'm going to drag this down to, I don't know, let's say 100. Okay. Uh, the other thing I probably would do will change this sketch. So this one looks like you, you want to have a spline that is normal there and normal there. I would probably use a conic instead of spline here, um, but anyway, let's let's make it a little bit more round from uh, from that point of view. Right. So here it's just a matter of you um, probably turning on the uh, show inflection point, so you make sure you don't get inflections. Right. You you get a flag if that happens. But I would be much more comfortable using a conic probably to get to get this. So start with a position where you will get something. And, uh, and then we can readjust these parameters to find out where is the critical point that limits your, uh, your result. So either I move this, uh, the starting point of the transition instead of going all the way here to the zero degree, maybe I'm going to start from 10 degree or 15 degree, probably this is what you should do, not what I'm doing right now, but just for the sake of uh, experimentation, let's try it again. So I'm selecting these two, moving the conductors. Uh, going to the center line parameter and you can see now it works again I imagine you would like this face to be tangent to that so let's see if we can do that tangency there and if it fails it fails it's just a matter of further adjusting uh, other dimensions for now I'm just gonna leave it like that right so you can see now it seems to work I, I don't really like the, the result that I'm seeing here but uh, you're gonna cut it anyway so uh, let's let's go back to this sketch. So on this sketch, actually I don't want to edit the sketch, I simply want to see its dimensions. So as I'm making this angle again a little bit bigger now, you see at one point the feature starts failing. So probably up to 72 degrees you can get it, but the result is really really ugly. And it might be ugly also because we're using that spline. Right? So one thing I'm, I'm probably gonna consider doing is um, changing the center line loft uh, center line right so this guy I probably I, I even you you run into the danger of getting um, inflection so allow me to delete this and I'm gonna use a conic instead conic it's a very elegant tool if you want we can talk more about conics uh, sorry uh, three uh, four clicks for for a conic so click number one Click number two, number three, and number four. I'm going to apply the tangencies. So between those two, I have a tangency. Between these two, I have a tangency. And now notice how elegant this is. You can establish um, a row value. It's a ratio between um, the median of the triangle made by these three points and the distance between these two to to this uh, to the line made by these two points, so I'm gonna put here a value that I can change, right? So let's start with point three. 
Uh, actually, no, let's go to 0.5, which would be what's going to be kind of round. So you can see this is this is a bit nicer. And now you have values that you can change nicely, parameters that you can change nicely. So one parameter would be um, if I'm going to the to the profile, we simply change this value from 0.5, let's try 0.7 and see what happens. Right? Do I rebuild? Fails. Cool. So we already know 0.7 is too much. It's it's clear it's it's a bit too much. Let's go to let's go to 0.4. Let's rebuild. So you can play with that value and then also you can play with these values. Either I change this, so maybe here you'd like to see how far away can I go before this starts failing. I believe you had something like 120 or 135 if I'm not mistaken. So even 130 would work, uh, 134 starts failing, right? So let's leave it at 130 for now and then play with this angle. So really you have a couple of um, options for modifying parameters. And uh, if I were you, if there is a certain range that I'm, I would be interested in, I'd probably run a design study um, varying those parameters and, and seeing the result, right? I don't, I'm not sure if you're familiar with design studies, but this is what I would do. Uh, most likely what you need to do is not to change the sketch that I mentioned, but change the starting point of the transition. So probably I'm gonna start from an angle that starts from here. But uh, you got the idea, I'm just gonna send you also this file. And uh, I really hope you're gonna get the pump done in